Okay, race 26, and they're second here from Leopardstown. It's the Leopardstown in Hunter's Chase. So we go from a great one to a Hunter's Chase. It's over three miles and uh, half a furlong. It's an to 100. One is Grainy Ambience for Darren Howes. Two is Venture to Cognac Martin Leedham. Three, Fine Fettle for David Robertson. Four, Excellent Down for Doug Warren. Five, Sister Winning for Doug Warren. Six, Mighty Dev for Alex Cherry. Seven, Streets of War for Darren Howes. Eight, Jamaican Rye for Stu Gray. Nine, Kenny Nay Do That for Stu Gray. Ten, Brace for Impact, Graham Clutterbuck. And eleven, Jenny Black for Alex Cherry. So eleven of them. As we point to point. And the start has got them away. We're going to wait for them to settle down. We'll see. Can they do that? Probably lead them. Leads them into the first. We'll get over it. A couple of them were slow. And we're straight on board Streets of War here. And we'll jockey cam early on. As you can see, we'll still jostle in for position the jockeys here. Can they do that? has gone off in the front. Front runner, no streets of war. Spend half your time trying to steer your horse here. On the inside of there is uh, Jamaican Ride, and there's Alex Cherry's horse, Jenny Black. Oh, he's coming over to the fence, streets of war. And now he's finally found his position, he's quite happy with it. So, as they approach the grandstands, we'll still have a further circuit to go when they get past the winning post. That's streets of war, we're riding on here. Outside there in the Welsh silks, you can see Brace for Impact. Ahead of that is Jenny Black. There's Jamaican Ride. As we level up for the judges, it's Can he do that by about five to six. And we're chasing Fine Fettle the Great. And the outside of there is Grainy Ambience. They go over the second. Everybody's over that. Just at the rear at the moment is Venture to Cognac. And it's Can he do that? Still leads them. Get a great view here from uh, the top of the stands. Two very big TV screens. As they bowl along, it's a shame the old uh, video doesn't allow us to zoom in from here. But it's Kenny Nay do that that leads them past the finishing post for the first time. And he's about five to six from grainy ambience and fine fettle. And following that through his excellent down and mighty dev slightly wider. Back on the inside is Silver Winning. And we've got Jenny Black. And Streets of War, Jamaican Ride. Good jump there by Streets of War. The outside venture to Cognac. As I said, Jamaican Black. And just at the rear now is Brace for Impact. Doesn't look good there for that horse. It's obviously not, uh, not feeling it. He's had a look at the stable block now. He may well be going to have a quick dart over there. So it's Granny Canyon do that that still leads. And he's got about a three length advantage now over Grainy Ambience. He's got a couple of lengths on Excellent Down, Mighty Dev and Sister Winning. The outside is Jenny Black. Further wider is Venture to Cognac. And the three inside of that are Jamaican Ride, Streets of War and Brace for Impact. And, uh, sorry, not Brace for Impact. Because Fine Fettle the Grey. Brace for Impact is the one where he's been pulled up. Brace for Impact as we thought. So it's Kenny they do that. It still leads. Got it still just under a mile and a half to travel. Can they do that by a good couple of lengths to grainy ambience? Getting a little bit closer order now. They got stretched out just uh, coming away from the grandstand. But it's Can they do that by a good couple to grainy ambience? Further lengths back to Sister Winning. Another length to Mighty Dev. Excellent down. Jamaican Ride. Jenny Black's there. Fine Fettle the Grey against the fence. Streets of War just at the rear. But still, Can they do that? Not much changed in that. Uh, the front order goes to the fourth. Everybody jumps out. Really good jump there by Sister Winning. Jumps himself into second. And can they do that from Sister Winning and Grainy Ambience? And then a wall of horses, Mighty Dev, Venture to Con Yak. Excellent down. And then we've got Fine Jenny Black, sorry. I keep forgetting old Jenny. And Fine Fettle to go over the fifth. Oh, we're losing one now. Streets of War is getting pulled up. Unlucky Darren. And you've still got Grainy Ambience in there. Although well, dropping back towards the rear at the moment. So it's Kenny Nay do that. Sister Winning was coming to challenge but decided to hold back and time it a little bit better. Still got a mile to travel. And they've got a couple of lengths on Mighty Dev and Venture to Cognac. There's Jenny Black and the grey fine fettle. Over that ditch, everyone's done it well. And it's still Kenny Nay do that. No sister winning starting to pull alongside now. Your cruise is working. So seven furlongs left to run.
and we're taken up now by Sister winning into the seventh. Everybody gets over that well. It's still Sister winning. Now by a length to Kenny, they do that. And three back to Venture Cognac, followed through by Mighty Dev, Fine Fettle the Grey, Jenny Black under a little bit of pressure now, as is Grainy Ambient and let down, and another one's going, Jamaican Ride's being pulled up, so that's three you have pulled up, okay they go over the eighth, and it's now Kane who do that and Sister winning together, we're going to go around to hit the top turn, the home turn, and then level up for the judge with four and a half furlongs left to run. His sister winning and Kenny Nee do that by about four to venture to Cognac. Mighty Dev starting to move and make run on now as well as Fine Fettle the Grey on the outside. The one that's just getting caught for pace now is Jenny Black. But up front is Kenny Nee do that that strikes for home. Leads by a length now to sister winning. Sister winning starting to come back at him now. So it's Kenny Nee do that and sister winning. Mighty Dev running on well as is venture to Cognac. Not sure Fine Fettle and let down are going to get into this now. So it's sister winning. Takes a length advantage over can he now do that? It doesn't appear to have much left. On the outside is Mighty Dev and Venture to Cognac. So it's Sister winning. Venture to Cognac's got nowhere to go. He's driven right up the back of Kane, do that Mighty Dev's keeping him blocked in there and Sister winning, just pulling further away we're inside the final furlong and a half and his Sister winning pulling away by a 4-5 to five now from Mighty Dev, just needs to go over the last one, he does, he still leads by about 5-6 to six, but now Venture Cognac's got some space and some room but he's not going to catch this Sister winning Sister winning's going to take this I think Doug will have to own me one with blocking off Martin's venture to Cognac with Kenny they do that so I have to say bad luck to Martin there we gang, we ganged up on you so sister winning for Doug Warren wins it well done Doug second was venture to Cognac for Martin leader bad luck third was mighty deck for Alex Cherry also part of the pack to block Martin off and X let down was, for Doug Warren was fourth and Kenny they do that for Stu Gray came in fifth